My name's Josh Hunt, I'm the Brisbane Lions Academy head coach, uh, and this is my fourth year in the role. My, I guess my role involves growing talent, really, and, and help developing that talent for the footy club and, and using this, I guess, advantage to having an academy to our, to our I guess, benefit, really. Um, you know, trying to find young talent across our zones, um, get them in, um, and then essentially just trying to, to really harvest or, or grow those guys so that you know, our recruiting guys can come through and then just pick the ones that they want kind of thing. So it's, it is, in a nutshell, that's what it is. Obviously there's a whole lot more that, that goes on from day to day and everything like that to get that done. But in a nutshell, you know, my role is to, to be there, to help educate, grow these guys. So if we do choose to select one and one's you know, fortunate enough and has worked hard enough to come in, that you know, it's a seamless transition across all education, the skills, they understand our game plan if that doesn't change, so um, hopefully that holds them in, in good stead. During our NAB series, you know, a week will sort of be, we'll travel, uh, we travel down to Melbourne, we play, we get back, um, and then pretty similar to what our AFL and, and development guys have to do, obviously go through the game, which sort of takes maybe, for me, essentially four hours to to code and edit, individual edits, you know, team edits, area edits, game plan, ball movement, all that kind of stuff. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, pretty much all done. I sort of get in to, to work and, and sit in front of the computer and try and find a little footy and numbers so that I can get the feedback for those guys and, and cut some footage of their growth and their, and their weapons so that they get that, that feedback that'll help educate them um, and also reinforce the things that they do well. The back end of the week is just making sure that, you know, I've got what I need to get done so that I can help them go out and perform their best on the weekend. Yeah, so obviously the draft is a, a pretty nerve-wracking time and, and a high-pressure sort of environment for the players. Um, trying to prepare for a draft camp as well um, and having to go through that. But at the same time, you know, they've, they've got the processes they have to stick to and, and not be so focused on getting drafted, which is their end goal, but really focusing on the things that are going to allow them to keep playing well um, and putting their hand up to be drafted. So. Um, and not losing sight of, of what got them to where they want to get to. I'd, you know, I sort of sit there and I'd love to draft you know, a whole lot of them at the end of every year and you sort of build that relationship with the players and, and I feel like that you, know, you just see so much commitment go in and, and you just want to make sure they get the reward for that. But for some, and, and as we know, that it's, it's not everyone, everyone's ability or everyone's, I guess, right to actually get to play. Um, and only a select few get picked. So it's just a matter of, I guess for me, knowing that through their academy journey, we've made them better players, hopefully better people as well. And then if they do fall short of their AFL dream, that you know that's not over for them though. That as we've seen with you know, Dame Zorko is a prime example that you know it might not be in your 18th year, it might not be in your 19th year, you know, but they just keep aspiring to do that, keep playing the highest level possible, and and hopefully through their academy journey that we allow them to go out and be you know really strong you know NEFL players if they don't get drafted, um, or even if they want to go to to Victoria or South Australia that they're a really good player that hopefully down the track may get a look in for a draft possibility as a, as a mature age player. I guess it's, it's a pretty easy answer to, to sort of say what, what my favourite thing is and that's I've, I'm still part of an AFL footy environment which is always great, you're surrounded by great people, different personalities but in particular with my role it, it's seeing the development of these young guys and, and hopefully realising a dream that they might have had for a long long time and I kind of liken it to sort of me coming through and I, I had a lot of fun when I got to play. I have some, some memories that will last me a lifetime. If they can have half the fun and the success that I did, um, then I think that, that I'll be able to walk away pretty happy that you know, I've had some sort of little part, whether it's you know, three years in our academy, whether it's just seeing them develop part of their growth areas that you, know, you see the penny drop and they become a, a better player and you just see them grow as players and, and hopefully realise their dream. Um, one way or another. So that, for me that reward of, of seeing them get to where they want to get to is, is, a, is a big deal for me.